Oh, sure. Uh, welcome, everyone, to the Common Metrics Working Group meeting, uh, June 22nd, 2023. Uh, as a reminder, the, this group does follow the uh, Chaos Code of Conduct. Uh, I think we're going to have a few people jumping in a little bit late, so we'll uh, uh, we'll try to accommodate them when they come in. If someone could, uh, if when someone sees people come in, if they could copy the uh, uh, the meeting notes and drop them in on a regular basis, that would be helpful. Uh, so to start uh, on the agenda, let's go ahead and we'll. Uh, we're going to jump to the bottom, and uh, Vinod is going to give us an update on the knowledge base restructuring. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll just let's copy that and move that to the top. Hi, Hi, everybody. Matt, we're just getting the meeting started. Okay. Uh, Vinod is going to give us an update of the uh, the knowledge base restructuring. Okay. Uh, cool. So, Vinod, do you want to share your screen? Should I share? Let me see if I can. Share. If not, uh, I can do it. Or can you see this? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I have multiple screens, which I think I've shared correctly. Can you see the PR? Yes. Okay. Okay. So what I've done is I have followed this structure exactly. I've deleted about chaos. Can you, uh, you can you give everyone everyone kind of a high level uh, okay. description of what of what you're doing and why you're doing it? Just for okay. for anyone who may not be aware. Yeah, so I'm uh, reviewing the knowledge base structure which we have created uh, in our, on the Chaos website, and uh, I'm like simplifying it, keeping it, uh, and like keep, um, removing the extra lab wordings or languages and unnecessary files, and keeping it simple. So uh, there are two like current structure and there is a proposed structure file. So if I open this, now, I hope you are able to see this Excel file. So are you able to see the Excel file now? Uh, yeah. So here we have a current structure that is right now how the chaos website about the knowledge base section is displayed. So we have this about section, we have community in initiatives and working group where there are so many layers, like one folder within another folder and so many files. So I've tried to simplify it and kept it and aligned it with our uh, governance structure also. So what we, in the last meeting of working group, we proposed this structure. Here is the one from the existing to a new one where we try to get rid of about chaos, general FAQ, mission values, because these are already on the first page of the chaos website. So we are trying not to repeat things over the period of time. So what I've done is like I've deleted these files within that PR, and then I created a new uh, chaos group folder where I have these different new pages, community initiatives. These pages were already there, but I have like restructured and copied the content to make it more in alignment. So now we have community initiatives and we have working groups page, we have local chapters and software projects. So each of these is like different community initiatives, badge, uh, like DI badging is included in the community initiatives. Uh, information about all the working groups, like high level information about these working groups is in this page. We have local chapters and then, uh, which is like Asia or Africa chapter and then software Grimolo and Garrett. Uh, uh, sorry, Grimoire Lab and Augur. And uh, then I have not worked on this particular section, which we proposed deleting this section. But I, when I looked at the content, I felt like this should not be deleted. Maybe I'll discuss it again and figure out what should we do with it. So I've not taken action on this one. I've, uh, governance was agreed as no change. So I've, there is no change on it. And then I have revised this community, uh, created a community templates where I've 
kept this metric template, metric model template, which are already uh, there. I just moved those files in those uh, folders. And then we have a community resources, which we have uh, slide deck link and images and brand style logos. And then we had these three pages, chaos specific term, community mentorship and working groups. I've merged them together and kept those which I felt are more relevant uh, to one page as a chaos specific terms. So this is the work I have done so far in that PR. So I, my comment, I thank you for doing all of this work because I know it's not a trivial amount of work to, to do this. I guess I'd look to Kevin and to Elizabeth, like a PR that touches 60 files is it just makes me a little nervous <laughs> that you're going to click merge and we're going to be like, whoops, that uh, broke a lot of stuff. And so yes. that's, I think that's mostly my issue that like, I agree that you're following the path that we talked about, but just that the cascade effects of something that touches 60 files is that's a very, 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 very big PR. <laughs> right. So that is why, like, if uh, this needs to be merged when uh, somebody is ready to work on the WordPress, if they don't work on the WordPress, then entire website will be broken from the knowledge base portion of the website. So, so basically, this pushes a giant break. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> for this, either Elizabeth or Kevin has to sit together, or I can sit with them and then they merge it and then like uh, map it with the uh, WordPress and then work on it. So what do, what do other people think, Kevin or Elizabeth? Elizabeth, do you want to comment first or? Uh, no, you go ahead. Okay. So I, I actually, I, I agree with Matt on this. The, uh, the number of changes is just, I think it's, too much uh, if we, uh, especially considering it's not going to be the, this isn't going to be the first uh, or the last time we go in and we edit all of this. All right. So I like that it, uh, so it, it gives us kind of a, it gives us a base framework to move forward on. So I'm, I am tempted to just say, let's do it and, uh, and figure it out. Me too. Part of me <laughs> just is like, just push the button and we'll clean up the mess later. <laughs> uh, but there's also there's also a little bit of tracking, or a so, little more tracking that I'd like that I would like to have. Uh, for example, the like the Mars project, we're removing it we're removing it from the handbook when we do this, which is fine. Uh, but ideally, for that project, I'd rather see that removed in a single pull request, where we could maybe throw a tag on it that says archived. Okay. Uh, so that. If we needed to track that down individually at a later date, it would be easier to find. Just just as an example, right? And there may be other files in there that for the the same thing, right? Okay. So it, I mean, an individual pull request is going to be easy easier for us to find these individual files uh, after okay. they've been removed. Uh, okay. So so I guess it, in that case, what I would what I would suggest is maybe an initial pull request that creates the new folder structure. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, and then we started moving files and deleting files individu in individual pull requests. I don't know, but at the same time, I, I realized that that adds a lot of work yes. to what you've already done. All right. So I am, I am. So the again, or, I'm really tempted to just say, let's let's do it. And or then, I uh, can, or I can suggest one more thing if you want that I'm willing to help in that regard. Is if I get access to the WordPress and I just understanding where the files are linked, then what I've done, I can also link those in the WordPress too for you and then so that if, as somebody merges it then i start working on the wordpress and adding those files back so that 
WordPress uh, stuff is not broken. Or somebody, or you, uh, Kevin, you or Elizabeth can sit with me and I can help you go through and we can collectively do it. How many, just out of curiosity, how many, how many files will, after, so we're deleting some and removing some. Yeah. Right. Uh, how many, how many files are we talking about once the, uh, so if we delete like this entire four files will be deleted first mm -hmm. four files can you see them can you see my mouse moving yep yeah so these four files will be deleted uh these four new files will be created and this is like new folder will be created mm -hmm. and then i have not worked on this so this will be right now intact governance is as it is there will be no change community templates uh is a new folder that I've created and I've moved these files which were already there, but they are moved to this uh, separate folder. So do, does, is there, but we, we, so we don't have any pages for community initiatives now? We have uh, community initiatives. Yes, we have a page for the community initiative here in the chaos group. Community initiatives, working group, local chapter software projects. So you, did you create those pages though? Yes. Oh, as part of this, but they're just empty? No, they have the content. Oh, okay. Uh, so I put a suggestion in the chat. I don't know how hard it would be for you to do this, Vinod, but a PR that creates the new folder structure just on top of the existing one, a PR that creates all, oh, anyway, but new files <laughs> it creates new files i wrote that badly and so, then I, and then individual prs that delete old ones on so one what, so. what will happen if you reject this all my work will be gone i have to rework it again um if i reject this pr yes yeah vanad vanad uses the browser edit function. no i i so have we, done it I have done it locally now. I've moved from the browser because of this, oh. especially working for this. So I've moved from, uh, so my local will be intact. Then I have to revise my local and then maybe create things. So it'll be an additional work, but it, it is doable. I don't, so I don't know that it would, it's not gonna take up very much to, to get the website up to date on this. Yeah. Uh, because we're, Ultimately, we're only talking about uh, one, two, three, four. Looks like we'll have five folders. Yes. Uh, Total folder. Most of those, uh, some of those folders, well, at least one of those folders won't have any documents in it. Yes. Uh, the other folders that'll, that are there do have documents that will exist. Right. Uh, but it's really not that many, right? It's uh, when we when we count yeah. these out, it's maybe twenty files tops. Yes, uh, that is the maximum. So we're we're in doing this transition. We're transitioning to a much smaller knowledge base, mm -hmm. uh, with the under with the understanding that we have to in the future we need to create a lot of new documents. So I I, I think I could. Elizabeth or I, or Elizabeth and I could probably knock this out pretty fast uh, and maybe take an hour. In terms of aligning it with WordPress? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm game, I'm game. And then maybe we can enlist the community to help us just like kind of do an audit of the website and make sure we didn't miss anything. That would be an easy, Thing to ask the community to do just look through the website poke around as much as you can see if you see anything that looks weird or empty um Vinod, i have a quick question these first yeah. ones that are deleted the about and the faq and all that so the about page that's on the website right now is that not pulled from github is that straight in wordpress kevin do you know i guess i can then look so if you just open the first page like chaos page, uh, like main page, this has all the information on the main page. Now, when we go, go to the knowledge base, this information is repeated over there. So gotcha. the repeat one is deleted. Gotcha. The main page is still the same content. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so for the uh, the about page, I 
don't believe I'm pulling that from the, I'm not pulling it from the knowledge base, I don't believe. Um, but okay. let, me, let me double check. So for uh, for those high level pages, uh, uh, for the about page, since it's a kind of the a first level page, I think I wanted to keep that in WordPress. Uh, however, we were supplementing some of those pages with uh, with knowledge based pages for content as as we were going along. Uh, but I don't believe we're doing that on the about page. And we actually, as from a design standpoint, we kind of we've moved away from that a little bit. So the ideally right now with the website design, the those kind of first level pages stay in WordPress, the stuff that doesn't need to be changed that often. And then all of the stuff that exists in the knowledge base is pulled from GitHub. Uh, Okay, that's helpful. In just a second, I'm, I'm logging into the website now to see if uh, if that page or if that page. Oh, huh. oh, there we are. So as you're doing that, Kevin, okay, so if, I guess I, I have to go back to the size of this PR. But, um, so like, if, um, I don't think a reason for pushing this through is because you'd have to <laughs> redo some no, of no, it. I, yeah. Don't think about in those okay. terms. Think about like auditability and uh, yes. ease of work. Yeah, I'm good. I'm happy to rework it. That is fine. I am not worried about that thing. Okay. So, so then yeah. if we if it was to be broken up, whatever it might be, like say that list that I have. So, like so maybe after. yeah, just to interrupt, like if it has to be broken, then first PR will be like deleting first four files. The, the Second all, like delete all the files that we don't need anymore. And that way you could put like an archive tag on them. Right. Quest question. So are right. all of the files are all of the files that would be deleted in in this list? Right. Uh, I'm not so sure. I, I thought we had more files in the knowledge base than what we're showing here. Uh, so I don't think you So so there are there ahead, are a couple of there are a couple of images in the file which are no longer used anywhere in the website, but they are in that folder. So I've just like deleted those images. There's a YouTube image. There is a Twitter image. There is a somebody's, uh, you know, uh, what you call Zoom uh, meeting click image. Or I've removed all those, cleaned those things. But for the the actual documents, are you sure that are you sure that this list? covers all of the actual documents that you would be deleting yes. from, from the existing knowledge base. Yes. But it's the, the documents, Kevin, I think are in, I think the image that we see here is not the full list or is it? That's what I'm asking. No. I don't, it no, doesn't look like the full list. No, it is not the full list. It has more things. For example, let me uh, open it in another. Table. The actual spreadsheet has more. Yes. Okay. Yes. So how to contribute, I have not worked on this area, this particular section, uh, can you see? This mm -hmm. was because in the last meeting, we decided we'll discuss it more on the next meeting. So I have not worked on this section. I have not deleted these that we proposed to delete because when I was looking at the content, I felt like break. I need to bring it back to the community, discuss whether should we delete it or not. So right now we have worked on this section uh this one and then from the start so these are the things that i worked up to this and then from governance uh, up to this section okay so so i guess what i would propose then is that using matt's that the thing that matt said we had we create a pull request that creates the new folder structure and okay. then you create a 
pull request that creates new files or all of the new files. Okay. And we don't delete anything yet, but maybe okay. in the next knowledge base meeting, we go through those files individually okay. and decide if we want to actually delete them or if we want to move them to one of the new folders. Okay. And if, if we do move them to the new folders, we could take some notes on how it needs to be edited moving forward. Okay. That way we're not just, because uh, uh, I don't think we've ever gone through and said, hey, we want to keep this, we want to keep this, delete this, delete this, delete this. Uh, Actually, we did that while we were going on the revised structure. We were looking at the file and then we were taking the, those decisions. Not, not definitively, though. We didn't go through every file and make those and make those decisions. We, I think we were just kind of doing it uh, individually when we were talking about certain certain things, right? So uh, there, there are there are files in there that we that we may not want to delete. Okay. Uh, that we haven't even that we haven't talked about yet maybe so for example let me show you something if i go to the community and if i go to the uh, community resources now there is an entire structure of the existing so here you look at the images like uh these are the images these are the images they are not used now this image is not used anywhere this image is not used anywhere so i have like this image I don't know where it's being used now. So I, I've, I'm trying to clean those things. Okay. So for example, uh, history, this... the, the history JPEG. Yes. So that that is probably a piece of uh, chaos art that we'd want to hold on to. Okay. So rather than deleting that one, for example, maybe we want to move that into the... Uh, uh, actually, maybe we keep it in image resources, okay. uh, or or we. Uh, I think the the plan was to actually store the images in a Google folder. So maybe this image gets actually moved to a Google folder. Okay. Right, because the I think the uh, for the images, I think we were talking about creating a Google Doc or uh, I'm sorry, a Markdown file that right. would point to the Google Drive. Right. Right. So, so my point was some of the, some of this stuff might actually be stuff we want to keep. Okay. Uh, maybe some of its logo art that we want to keep. Uh, the, the the badging passing okay. image we might want to keep. Uh, so we haven't gone through all of the files and and kind of made those determinations. So maybe okay. Maybe we do that before we delete it. That way we don't have to worry as much about uh, yeah tracking this stuff down later. <laughs> Why? Uh, so there are two things. In the previous meeting, it was proposed that if we delete anything, we can go back to the archive at any point in time and retire because nothing is deleted in reality from the GitHub. So that is where I have made this decision to clean things. And if we need to retry, we can go back and retry those things. That was the how it. Yeah, I think the but the point the point that Matt was making was that if we if we split this up a little bit, it'll be a little okay. bit easier to find that stuff in the future you know so okay. because this pull request is so big and we're doing everything at once you know we we could kind of we could kind of lose some lose some stuff okay so i'll make two points one is if we have a meeting where we talk about what to delete and what not to delete um i delete everything and elizabeth deletes nothing so like we may have like really <laughs> So Real I could be the down uh, is what you're saying. We'll have to thumb wrestle it out. Yes, I can be the I can be the tiebreaker. So <laughs> so there yeah. are there are some instances. So there are many instances where I believe that a document that we could delete would be better served as the basis or the framework for a new document. So then maybe you don't need me and Elizabeth because Elizabeth is keep everything. I am delete <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore we need a tiebreaker on everything. Um, the, um, I had another comment as well. Oh, if, if we do go through this process, maybe one of the things that you could um, do to help move us through the conversation, Vinod, is it sounds like there are a couple things that you are proposing to delete that are 
probably pretty obvious things to delete, like weird red dots. Right. <laughs> you know, like we probably don't need to keep those kinds of things. And maybe you could just use your best discretion. And I would trust you on that to just kind of say, this is, this is a clear delete. This is something right. that has been moved. I can, you can explain where it has been moved. You know what I mean? Um, something like something along those lines. And then maybe like the image that Kevin was just talking about, like the history, you're like, no, no, let's have a discussion. And that just might move things a little faster. Okay. Than, having each one being treated as keep or not keep. We could we could have him actually go through and and move move all of the files into the into the uh, folder that he thinks they would exist in and then we could look at it by folder. Like does this does this really belong here? Let's delete it. That way that would be a, a way of kind of organizing that into a uh, so the, the so the steps would be to create the new folder structure, create the new files, and then move all of the existing files into the folder that best uh, uh, best fits it, and then we could uh, go through those individual folders and say uh, this document can be deleted, this one needs to be edited. Uh, or there's one other suggestion that. Uh, that I'm thinking of, like I'm thinking of picking as a chunk. Like first thing I pick this main four files, I just create a one PR of deleting these four files. Then I create a PR of this particular group, like chaos group and these five files, like which is still manageable. You have a folder, you have the files within it. Like having empty folder is still like, I can foresee after a week when I talk to you, okay, if this is an empty folder, what is going to be in it? And then the same question will arise. So maybe I uh, thinking of it is in a small chunks. First this chunk, then this second chunk, then maybe third chunk, then fourth chunk, which is like we have folder and we have a few small files. Yeah, I would I would follow you on that if you you kind of know the workflow here that kind of fits best for you. How many files are are you proposing to delete like as of today, irrespective of this conversation? As of today, I am proposing like uh, deleting these four and maybe five files I'm deleting and some media files, which I thought was not, uh, uh, which I showed you yeah, over here. the ones you showed. So what's yes. the total, like maybe 20, 15 or 20 files? 20 files, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, and if we could take them on as chunks, that'd be good. And I think, okay. I do think if you could specify them as like obvious deletes. Because they're okay. just, and then that, because that, if we can do obvious deletes, that 20 might go down to 12. Right. Of... right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I think that will work. So, I maybe then uh, uh, you can reject this PR and I'll create a new PR of different chunks. Like, then we can go one by one to each PR. Perfect. Thank you for doing that, Vinod. Okay. I'm not going to reject it because I feel bad. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're uh, uh, we are running out of time for this meeting, okay. so I, we're not going to hit all the agenda items. So, is there anything on the agenda that we want to uh, that we want to make sure we talk about? Um. So Ray's not here. Uh, he did. Uh, he did say we could take a look at that self merge rate uh, document if we if we wanted to, or we could we could hold off until next next meeting on that. Uh, the nod had another uh, action item related to the knowledge base. That was the creating the how to how to create a metric uh, document. Uh, we could talk about that. If you'd like or not, or I mean, so, I know you have, that, a, you have a lot of stuff you're doing, so I don't even know if this is in any no, state this, to talk about or. This is part of this restructuring. So this will like ultimately come up in this restructuring, so. Okay, we had, so we had a, we had a diff delta metric that was proposed at one point. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I would like to just re remove that from the. This was brought up by somebody else, and they don't have a real. I think it was similar to similar to one of our existing metrics. Yeah, well, and I remember correctly, I'm just not motivated to have something like provided, and then like there's no other additional insight. You know what right. I mean? Okay. Uh, so there was a backlog management index. Uh, yes. Metric. This one, uh, Don had uh, Don and uh, Daniel, I think, were discussing in so, issue two eighteen. So since neither of them are here, we could maybe not yeah, worry about so that one. Oh, go ahead. I would add uh, uh, this was the one which uh, based. Uh, with, uh, this is the one I've developed based on the newsletter from the Grimoire Lab, where they proposed two metrics, out of which we discussed in the previous meeting that we are going to create a chaos metric out of those discussion. Oh, so, so you're working on this one? So yes, so I have actually created this metric out of that uh, uh, the newsletter where they have discussed two different metrics. So and this is like I've written out of that, and now it needs to be reviewed by the group, and maybe then. Okay. So the next step is to edit it. Yes. Okay. Read it and edit it or comment it. Maybe for the next meeting we could yes. edit this one and also raise one. Right. Just in terms of time, like put those two at the top of the agenda. Okay. I'm going to remove the. Okay, so self merge rate, we're going to move to next meeting and we're going to edit it. Uh, backlog management index, we'll move to next meeting and edit. Seems sensible. Uh, second contribution, Matt, you had a, an action yeah. item on that. Have you had a chance to look at that yet? or? I've had a chance, but I haven't, okay. <laughs> I haven't done it. <laughs> so let's just. Let's not, I mean, with the other two, we probably, uh, let's just leave it here so we remember it. Uh, but this one we, comes up pretty regularly. I do think it's one that we need to. Yeah, this one came from the, uh, uh, the Open Science Working Group meeting, if I yeah. remember correctly. So this is a yeah. metric that they, uh, they believe is really important. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Uh, I like this metric as well, but let's just, uh, we'll just kind of tow it along with us until. Yep. We have the space. Okay. Uh, well, I did want to give just one update from the metrics model working group meeting. So there was some discussion about, um, it was really interesting discussion about understanding community and how people kind of change roles in community and some of the work that Yuhui and Liang were doing was really impressive work. The, watching the video is pretty cool. Um, one of the things that came up was they um, sometimes use slightly different metrics in their like deployments on whether it's compass or some of the work that they're doing. You know what I mean? Like the it's not exactly a chaos metric, but it's it, it's kind of related to our chaos metrics. And part of me was like, do we? actually try to keep those two things perfectly aligned you know what i mean where if and i i just my head exploded when i was trying to think about that that we would try to keep everything aligned as it goes out into the world like that would be i think a, a an errand that a fool's errand like we just don't want to do that you know like if somebody uses a, a metric say for inspiration and they change it a little bit like i i we, can, we just can't keep track of all of that stuff. So, so yeah, go ahead. Oh, so I, I would argue we've we've never really kept them aligned, uh, even internally. So Augur and Grimoire Lab yeah. both use metrics a little bit differently than the chaos metrics that we've defined. They don't use the same, oftentimes they don't even use the same terminology. So, I mean, we've, we've discussed in, in detail, just to, like the, the name of a change request. Yeah. Uh, however, if you go to, if you go to Grimoire Lab or Augur, uh, oftentimes, 
I think they may you they may actually use the pull request terminology rather than uh, right. uh, change. change request because that's the one that people uh, I think more people uh, are aware of, right? Yep, which, and I think, which I think is fine. Yeah, exactly. For a long time, I'm like, I think these two things need to be aligned. We need to keep them perfectly aligned. But so what, just as a note, what Yahoo is going to be doing, at least on the compass side of things, that if there are, there are metrics that they're using that are not defined as part of the chaos project, they're actually going to add a component that says this metric, you know, is kind of inspired by or <laughs> comes from the thought process around this particular chaos metric. You know what I mean? And they would provide a link to the stable URL, which I'm like, that's really nice. You know, so if it's like they have metrics around, say, like um, pull request to issue link ratio, you know what I mean? And so we, that's a metric that we don't have defined. Um, and then he's like, there are a couple of chaos metrics that kind of inspired this, or at least kind of touch on this, and we'll just list those metrics there. Pull request to issue link? Yeah. Okay. Is that so pull requests that include issue links in them? Yeah. Like what's oh. your what, what's it's a nice metric. I know? wrote a I wrote a paper on that uh three, yeah. four years ago. Well, let's let's turn it into a metric. But like there's <laughs> but like there are certain things that they're doing, and that might be an example of one that we turn into a metric, but others, you know, we we don't. So anyway, I just I wanted to bring that up just because it came up also in the metric model discussion about how closely we try to keep those things aligned. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I was thinking of uh, two things, like especially I, I don't know about the compass because on our website, we are promoting Augur and Grimoire Lab. So maybe we can keep trap a track of these two software only if they are choosing some different name and as a pointer because that is like kind of a chaos thing. For Compass, we are not promoting as a part of our software, but we are just pointing out. So if they use a separate name, that's their call. But for at least Grimoire Lab and Augur, we should have some tracking mechanism. It, makes my, it still makes my head explode trying to do that. <laughs> but yeah. because it's part of chaos, you know, as as we are, uh, we always say we have these two software. This these are a part of chaos, and we are from. So if somebody looks at our metric and looks at the auger, but then they get confused that these are used differently. I think that's why we have the keywords. Partially why we have the keywords for synonyms, uh, and then I think it's just perfectly fair to discuss the different names for things in the uh, description of the of the metric. But even even jumping between get when we talk about pulling the data, even jumping between uh, GitHub or uh, any of the other platforms, those those names change. So I mean, yes. I I agree with Matt that it's 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 complex to a point where it's maybe maybe even it's just why bother. <laughs> That's just uh, our messaging would be like, listen, we make these definitions and we understand they take on different forms. Mm -hmm. in different pieces of software and in different contexts. And we are completely fine with that. But these metrics are meant to serve as inspiration and ways to kind of think about community health, but we understand they may live differently in, in different parts of the world. And I'm okay with right. that. A uh, quick question, does Grimoire Lab or Augur uh, provide, I think Grimoire Lab does provide a list of all their metrics? Because we could maybe just put somewhere on like the Gamora lab or even in our metrics page, just like auxiliary metrics or other people who are also doing metrics, something like that, maybe just like a big resources page of links out to other places. Cause there's other obviously groups that are doing metrics too, that aren't right. even connected to chaos at all, but we'll give them some love. That's fine. That's an interesting idea. Um, that's an interesting idea. Like if, if, if that's something that could even be generated by those folks, like if I asked Sean, could you tell me all the metrics that are deployed in Augur? Or, you know, Georg, Daniel, same right. as for more lab. Right. I don't... Yeah, if they have a list somewhere, we could just link to it. So when they change it, it's, you know, we don't have to worry about keeping keeping that list updated. But... You're talking about creating a, a document that would almost map the, uh, map the connection between chaos, Augur, and Liturgia. No. 
no, 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 just no, like no, no. give people um, just like more. Like if you're if you're looking for a metric and you don't see it here, here's some other places you can try. There's some auxiliary metrics over here developed by Grimoire Lab, developed by Augur, developed by Compass, developed by whoever. That aren't just necessarily like, defined by us. Yeah. Right, but we we could take that moment to actually actually create the link to to the chaos metric. You know when they when they do exist. Uh, so if the, if, oh, the, see, yeah. if the if the name is the same or if it's a synonym, for example, if you're right. if you're making a list of Baturgia metrics, you know when you get to pull request, we could just link out. To, we could link it to this is a chaos metric. Link to change requests, yeah. uh, and then we could that would actually give us kind of if we just looked at a Augur, Baturgia, and chaos in that way. It would be interesting to 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 see how those kind of all map together, uh, and it might give us a, a heads up on new metrics that we need to define as well. Right. I think Precious O had been working on that with Sean to try to just make that laundry list. I think that's what they were working on, but I don't know that they got that finished. I'm just going to send Josh and Georg a DM and say, "Is it possible?" To get a list of all the metrics deployed in Augur and Grimoire Lab. Yeah. You mean Sean and what did I say? Josh. <laughs> like <laughs> who's Josh? Pilot, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then then maybe we could drop him in a we could drop him in a in a spreadsheet. One column Augur, one column Grimoire Lab, one column Chaos, and we could kind of map them to see if if there's any. Uh, how they yeah, compare, maybe. So let's see. What I, I, I would do the mapping if you if if you want. Let's see what they say. The yeah. mapping would be a moot point if they're like, yeah, not possible. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they're, they're both. Cool. We could also verify like the in a metrics where it says tools that offer this metric. You know, like I don't think we keep that aligned at all. So yeah, that'd be great. To maybe. I think they're both. They're both using some sort of uh, SQL database, aren't they? Yeah. So it's just yeah. a. It's Grimoire really Lab. just bad. What's that? Grimoire Lab doesn't. Oh, Grimoire Lab doesn't. Uh, Elastic Search database. Elastic. Ah. But nonetheless. I mean, if it's in the database, it's just a matter of querying it the right way. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll let you know what they say. I did did just message them. So. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. I, yeah, I would like to see that actually. And if, if you can get those lists, I will, uh, I'll take some time and, and try to map them and see what that looks like. All right, right on. Okay, thank you for the update. Uh, the interesting stuff happening over in the uh, metrics model working group. Uh, I think uh, at this point we are over time. So I'll just, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, end this meeting out unless there's anything anyone wanted to say. Nope, yeah. all good. Nope. Okay, thank you all. See you all later. Thank you. Bye. See you guys later. See you later.